Ooh, Logan Paul, ladies and gentlemen, the Crypto Zoo Project buyback program, the Pokemon inspired NFT game, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about Logan Paul and everything I just listed before that. Oh my goodness! So on Thursday, Logan Paul pretty much announced that there is going to be a um, 2.3 million dollar buyback program for the NFTs purchased through Crypto Zoo, and uh, the claims uh, could be submitted online until February 8th. So that's literally like when I'm making this video, it's the 8th of January, so like 30 days. 31 days from now you know what i'm saying um it's insane it's insane people are, are absolutely going crazy tldr here we go you cannot sue logan paul and get a refund at the same time i understand how shady that sounds but most of y'all people don't really know how these class action lawsuits go um dude made millions off of this crypto nft project he didn't force anyone to give them money right you could probably sue him but he'll get away with it in court i'm not gonna lie but you can't sue them if you're getting a refund. Every company has that clause, bro. The majority of countries, or the majority of companies anywhere in the world have that clause. And I don't know why it's a big deal because maybe it's because it has Logan Paul's name attached to it. I understand how shady it seems. And a lot of these people have a hate boner for Logan Paul. I get it, I get it. I mean, claimants will receive 0.1 ETH per eligible NFT known as a base egg and base animals. Players were supposed to be able to breed the animals when they hatched. Uh, and then on top of that, the hatched animals could be bred into themselves for hybrids, um, making more NFTs and stuff like that. Uh, it just didn't work. It, it didn't work out, it didn't, it, didn't make any money. It was it was a bad thing. He had bad faith actors, or so he claims. Bad people on his team. I don't I don't believe that for a minute. I'm gonna be real. Maybe he did get he did get fleeced. All right. Maybe we'll, we'll give the benefit of that at face value. He, maybe he got fleeced. He got robbed with his company. At the end of the day, you are responsible for the people that you hire for your company. That solely reflects you because you have your name all over it. I think he says that he admits it, but I don't really know what else Logan Paul can really do, right? Because at the end of the day, it's not his money that he put into the thing or it's not his money that other people put into the thing other people at the end of the day chose to participate in this this rug pull this scam if you will i mean some of you people got to be held accountable you're going to take a loss on on your things you we're lucky you're getting anything at all at this point honestly because you could take that road and be done with it 2.3 million dollar bipac program that's insane to me that's a lot of money it's an insane amount of money most people are like, oh, Logan's worth millions. Okay, well, where's your $2.3 million? Exactly, bro. I, I get, like, Logan Paul's a piece of shit for, for who the hell is giving me Discord notifications? I get Logan Paul's a piece of shit for not backing the program properly. The silence is everything. But I guarantee you he has suits tied to this, and he can't say anything under wraps. It's an, exhaust, an exhaustive investigation, bro. It's an exhaustive long hours in trying to explain, first of all, what an NFT is. And then on top of that, explain what a cryptocurrency is. And then on top of that, how they coincide with each other and how you make money and how you submit projects and stuff like that. It's so There's so much stuff going on. And there's really no federal law for this so at the end of the day he doesn't really have to do anything he can take his money and go right um i really don't know how that really holds up in court because at the end of the day it's like it's like blaming the casino for a slot machine game that you didn't win at because you said it doesn't work you know what i mean you've got scammed bro you got scammed Anyways, the forms, terms, and conditions also note that any submitted entities that Paul, in his sole discretion, deems ineligible will not be returned. So that's that's really crazy. That's like so really crazy wording, right? So basically, the refunds are completely up to his discretion and if he feels fit. He doesn't want the hybrids. He doesn't want this, that, the other thing. You could be denied for absolutely no reason because it's up to his discretion and he can deem it ineligible. That's shady business right there. That's fucked up. Everything else before that, okay, I understand it. But that right there in that clause, shady, bro. Shady. To be eligible for a refund, claimants also have to agree to waive any actual or anticipated claims against Logan Paul. You cannot sue this man if you are trying to get a refund. You cannot sue him. Honestly, the Crypto Zoo buyback program, it's a good step in the direction. Logan Paul W, but the way they're handling it with the clash action lawsuits and the the uh, the way they're promoting it on, on Twitter and all this other, or X, I should say. They're just shifting blame to the bad actors. They're like, hey, we, at least we got the, the Crypto Zoo project in, but we got bad faith actors, so it's not actually what you guys think it is. You can't sue me. You can't sue me, though. Trash. Trash. File a lawsuit in federal court and uh, hold him accountable. I guess he's trying to hold the bad actors, quote unquote, accountable, too. The, the people that were engineering the project. Uh, cool, I guess. That still doesn't give people back their money. I think you should have them all on a stake. But, um, 
the damage is already there. It's irrefutable damage has already been taken. You can ask anybody on YouTube, the Paul brothers, they hate the Paul brothers. Just being associated with Jake Paul of all people uh, already puts you down a peg or two. But um, I guess he's hoping, he's betting that enough people who would otherwise be potential class members will take him up on this offer and uh, drastically reduce his potential exposure in the pending case by doing so. What does that mean? He's hoping. He's hoping that, you know, his eggs don't get fried. You know what I'm saying? In the public eye. Whack. Oh, this is whack, bro. This is so dumb. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Logan Paul and his uh, committee, L. L takes. L takes. Stick to wrestling, buddy. See you all in the next one.